Thank you. Thank you, um, everyone. Uh, glad to be here. Boy, you know, I've been challenged and so um, just grateful for the opportunity to be awake, grateful to be alive. Um, I'm just grateful to be here with each and every one of you this morning. So this morning I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians 9 and 22, which says, When I am with those who are weak, I share their weakness, for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. And today, I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for God's word. Um, I'm grateful for the gifts that, that, that God has placed on each and every one of us. And um, I'm just, I, I, I just have a overwhelming sense of gratefulness this morning. Um, I travel today. So and keep me in your prayers for travel and mercies and, you know, um, just pray to keep me covered. Uh, but this particular verse, it I bookmarked it because it, it really stood out to me, the context behind it, right? And it's just, it's just one word that, that automatically came to, to my spirit when, when I read this verse, and that word is compassion. You know, it's, it's so important for us to, to be compassionate towards people when they go into things, you know, because, you know, as, as Christians, we, because of our faith, we have developed a, a strength that a lot of people who may not have our faith, they don't have. And if we don't see that, we expect people to be as strong as we are, you know, and, and that's the thing with strength. Like a lot of times like you... You, when you're strong, you expect somebody to, to, to be able to handle things the way that you handle things. But you have to realize that the strength that we have is extraordinary. You know, it isn't normal. The normal, the, the normal human without faith, is, without faith is actually a pretty weak creature. You know, like they don't have, the, they don't have this, this strength that we have to bear and this strength that we have to endure things because they don't, they don't, they don't see the purpose in like what we see. They don't realize that it's a light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of times that they sink themselves into holes a lot deeper than what they already in by, by just allowing their mind to wander without having something telling them inside that, hey, listen, man, you know, I have you, I've got you. And in this particular verse, the Apostle Paul reminds us, right, that you have to be compassionate in, in uh, terms of sharing their weakness and that is so important you know because you know it's it's easy for you to bring somebody to to christ especially when they're in a weak position but you have to put yourself in their shoes you know you can't just tell somebody to suck it up you know like when they when they hurt sometimes you gotta hurt you gotta you gotta live through that pain for them you know, and, and you got to just be able to be compassionate with them and tell them that, hey, it's going to be all right. You know, and when they ask you that question, would they more than likely will and say, how do you know? And you just tell them because my faith tells me that, you know, God, God, God has already showed me that. Like I have faith, I have faith in God to know that he's going to bring you through this, you know, because if God brings you to it, you And thank you for the opportunity to speak. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Uh, keep me in your prayers today. Um, Carrie and I relinquish my mic.